M fam. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I don't even think it's the afternoon. I think it's the evening. It's already four. So um, I'm gonna start cooking dinner because the kids are hungry. I'm kind of hungry and it's just been a really long day. So I'm gonna do something different. I kind of want to incorporate this in my channel and I want to kind of do it once a week or maybe three times out of the month. I'm not too sure. <laughs> yet. I'm sorry, I'm barely coming um, off of my cold. But um, I want to just like, instead of doing a full on like recipe uh, video, I want to kind of like do it something fun. So I kind of want to just bring you guys along and cook dinner with me. So today you guys are going to cook dinner with me. So the video will probably be titled cook dinner with me Thursdays because it's gonna be uploaded on Thursday <laughs> but um I just want to like give it out to you guys right now my kids are very picky especially Naraya TJ's not as picky as she is but they're very picky so I have to find things that I know they're gonna eat so don't judge me all right let's see what I want to make today for dinner I'm not even 100% positive what I want to make so let's just kind of browse. So can you guys guess what I'm gonna make today? If you guys guess chicken fettuccine, you are correct. So for stuff like this, I like using the Great Value Boneless Skinless Chicken Breasts. They're real easy to cook. All you have to do is season them and cook them in the oven or boil them or grill them. You can do whatever you want, but they're really good. So. There's only two in this bag, so I have to bring out my other one and get another one. So I think I'm going to cook three of them. And then cut them in cubes. I'll show you guys that later. And then I'm using the Great Value Fettuccine uh, Pasta. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter what brand you get. As long as you know how to cook them, it comes out bomb. And then I'm using the Ragu Classic um, chicken like the classic alfredo sauce so that's i get this stuff all of this i got at walmart so if you guys are just making it like for the day and you need to go buy something this is only 5.95 these are only like a dollar literally just it's just a dollar and then i buy the two pack but one of them's like a dollar something so you'll only spend about eight bucks nine bucks on this whole meal instead of going out to eat Go buy something and make it at home. That's how I think of it, because you're going to spend that much when you're going to go out to eat anyways. So I'm going to make the food now. So the way I'm going to cook the chicken, it comes out really good. So I'm just going to not boil the chicken all the way where it's fully cooked, but get it defrosted and kind of look like it's like getting cooked there. But I'm going to add in some the, <laughs> the chicken bouillon, the caldo one. So not the red one, but the... You know this one and then I'm gonna add in some garlic so I just like pour it however amount I don't have measurements sorry just eye it and then let it get like that I'll show you guys how it looks before you bake it but while this is boiling or whatever I'm I put the oven at 375 so it's preheating and then on medium-high go ahead and boil some water I wouldn't put the fettuccine pasta in yet because, um, I don't know, I noticed like when I just put it in and then boil it, they come out real gooey and sticky. So I always just let it boil first and I like to add like a pinch of salt in it and then once it starts, once you start seeing it boil, go ahead and add in your fettuccine pasta. And so once it looks like this, hold on, and it's not like fully cooked but it has like some cook on the outside and it's not frozen uh, go ahead and uh, drain it so lay down foil on a pan and then spray it with cooking oil so I went ahead and sprayed it with cooking oil and now I'm gonna lay the chicken and I like kind of flip it and put it on top of it And then you can go ahead and spray the top of the chicken after you're done seasoning it. So all I seasoned the chicken with was salt, garlic powder, 
and some like chicken seasoning sauce or seasoning powder that I had got from the grocery store. So that's all I seasoned it with and then I obviously I sprayed it with cooking oil so that way it can get crispy on the top. So now I am going to bake it for 35 to 40 minutes. And now that the water is boiling, y'all can go ahead and add in the fettuccine. Um, I don't like breaking these, so I just let them kind of drop and then smush them in together and then swirl them. So they're just all right there right now and they're gonna cook. And the chicken has about 12 more minutes, so these should actually be done within that time. So everything is nice and hot and ready for the sauce to go in. See how it's all like sinking in? Because it's already all boiled and nice and hot. And you don't have to wait for the water to get like that, so. And then just pour the sauce. add a little bit of milk just to make it a little bit more creamier so I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk and once the chicken is done just chop it in cubes and put it in the pot and mix it all together 